Hello and welcome to Jet Vlog number 16. Covered a lot of ground so far. I appreciate you watching these and uh, hopefully we'll get a bunch more done before you guys head off to Japan in about three or four weeks. Um, okay, today is Sunday. Um, kind of a crappy weekend. It's uh, really rainy here. Um, it's the rainy season and uh, particularly here in uh, Shimane, it's just uh, just rain, I mean literally rain non-stop it seems like for Saturday and Sunday with a lot of heavy wind and uh, it's kept the temperature down which is kinda nice um, I haven't had to run my air conditioning near as much um, but it's just crappy, um, it's really dark and gloomy and not good but uh, I bought a new Kit Kat can you see that? Dun, dun, dun. this says down here in Katakana, can you read the, oh we're over here Triple berry. Ooh, triple berry. And this is white. Now, this is not to be confused with uh, the Hokkaido cream one that I mentioned, um, which is really delicious. But this is good too. This is just white chocolate. And, uh, you know, you couldn't read that unless you knew katakana, and then you can read the back. And it actually says white do choco. The other weird thing I found at the Kambini the other day was. Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, basically no calorie Coke, plus vitamin C. Do they have this in America? It, has it come out over there? Is this a Japanese thing? I don't know. Like, when I'm thinking about a healthy beverage, uh, yeah, I, I reach for a Coke. <laughs> it's like, drink some orange juice for Christ's sake. Um, anyway, so I bought it basically just to show you guys. I will drink it. Um, I'm not a huge Diet Coke fan. Um, anyway. All right, on to our topic at hand, which is marriage and dating. Um, or not marriage, necessarily. I don't want to say you have to come here and you're going to get married. Um, married jets, if you want to come and be a jet and be married. Because um, I've had a few questions. Um, okay, well, we'll start with dating. Um, and, you know, with the caveat that uh, I, I'm hardly the expert. Um, I'm going to put a link in the sidebar. <clears throat> uh to, uh, no, over here, um, to a, a website that's <clears throat> very famous uh, for um, jets, and it's called Big Daikon. If you know anything about jet um, online research, you've probably stumbled across this website. And when I first came in 2004, it, it was invaluable to me because it was one of the few resources there were to find out about jet. But now I feel like there's so many more resources. And the problem I have with Big Daikon is it tends to skew very negative. So if you go there and you start to read some of the posts, take it with a grain of salt. You tend to get a lot of people on there that are very bitter. And I'm not saying that you know everything is rosy peachy keen in Japan and that even I, who am a pretty staunch supporter of the program and obviously have stayed five years and love it here, um, don't have problems with living here, but um, Big Daikon can be negative. But you will find out much more information on Big Daikon about dating and hooking up and all these other things than I could ever tell you. So I'll put the link. Um, the major thing is, is if you come here and you want to date a Japanese person, whether that's a Japanese guy, a Japanese girl, etc., um, the language barrier is, is huge. Um, you know, I went out on a few dates when I first, you know, in the first like year I was here. And you go out to dinner and you try to say a few things in Japanese if you could. And my Japanese was pretty bad then, e even worse than it is now. And uh, she might try to say a few things in English. And then maybe you'll watch a movie or something. And it's just like, for me anyway, I I'm older. You know, I, I want to be able to talk to a person. Um, and it just is really difficult. Um, you have to talk really simply and about very simple subjects and uh, it makes dating difficult um, unless you find somebody that speaks fairly good English. But then, the, of course, the problem you have sometimes is are they dating you because they just want to practice their English? And I've had plenties of, well, plenties, plenty of offers to go out for coffee, go out for dinner, etc. Um, from women and it's very obvious that they just want to have English conversation that's the main thing and there's nothing wrong with that if both of you realize that up front 
Um, and on the extreme end, of course, there are women here in Japan who, in the same way guys are always accused of having an Asian fetish um, whenever you come to Japan, um, there are women here who are like to date Gaikokujin, like to date Western guys. And some of them want to get married and have, uh, you know, get out of Japan and get a visa to America or Australia or somewhere else. Um, and, um, you know, I've, I've been around long enough. I've seen it all. Um, you know, girls that get knocked up and, you know, trap the guy, etc. All that kind of stuff. Um, I've also seen Jets who are just out of college in 22, 23, and they're teaching 17, 18-year-olds. And some of these 17, 18-year-old girls can be very aggressive toward, if, especially if it's a cute guy. Um, anyway... Uh, this could go on and on with anecdotal stuff, but I, I just, you know, basically it boils down to this, in my opinion. If you're a good-looking guy, and you don't have that much problem getting dates in your home country, you will not have any problem getting dates in Japan. Um, it, it, you know, I'm older, I'm overweight, I, I'm not getting the pick of the litter, let's put it that way. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't know how else to say it. Um, you're not going to, just because you're a foreigner, it's not like, you know, Tinkerbell sprinkled pixie dust on your head and all of a sudden you're ama amazingly attractive to Japanese women. Of course not. Um, so I guess that's my caveat. Don't go on jet just to come here to hit on Japanese women. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Um, if you're a woman and you come, I've heard and... Um, that dating Japanese guys is much more difficult. Japanese men are a little bit more intimidated about the more, um, not aggressive, what, what am I trying to say? Um, uh, open, less demure Western women. They have a harder time coming up and talking to them. Um, they tend to be less interested in English, etc., etc. So I've heard it's very difficult sometimes. You also have to realize that I'm out in a very rural area where most of the young people you know, in college age into early 30s, leave. They go to the big cities. They go to Osaka and Tokyo and stuff to get jobs and to enjoy being young. Um, so I, I literally, like, there's a lot of people here up to about age 18 in my town. And then, every, you know, the, the largest section of my town is people age 65 and older. So it's, it's very hard to find, especially I'm 38, to find people that are single in their mid to late 30s. Um, you won't have that problem. Most of you are going to be in your 20s when you come. Um, okay, well, I won't be able to talk about married life. I'll have to do a, a, a part B for that. Um, what else can I say about dating really quick? Um, obviously, the other major thing you can do is you'll meet lots of other people from other countries that are Jets. Um, I've known a few couples now that um, they've met here on Jet, and they end up getting married. Um, so... Uh, you know, again, you'll, you'll meet tons of, I mean, that's one of the great things about coming on the program is the meeting people from Australia and New Zealand and Ireland and South Africa and, you know, Italy and all the other places where jets come from. So don't worry, dating here, it's like, it's the same anywhere. It's a little bit more difficult, but it's not that much more difficult and, uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, okay, so I'll do a little bit of thing because I do have some interesting things to tell you about being married that's more technical. If you have a specific question, as always, send me an email. Um, I'm pretty caught up right now, and I want to thank you all for your patience. And uh, more soon, okay? I'll try to do the married one real soon, but it'll stop, probably still be tomorrow. Okay, talk to you. Bye.